Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 film Casey Jones and Raphael in Disguise 2 pack. Now, this is that elusive Walmart exclusive 2 pack. They put it on their website, sold out immediately. In stores, you'll never find this thing because NECA Walmart exclusives absolutely suck. They're so hard to find. They kind of disgust me when I find out about them. Scalpers buy them at the website, they buy them at the stores, they flip on the secondary market, and that's where I end up having to get mine from. I paid about 80 bucks for this. I've seen it sell for a lot more. 25 extra dollars, this thing's gonna be about $55 at the store. It was probably worth it because I've made, I can't even tell you how many trips to various Walmarts looking for this thing and other various exclusives. If you do not have this set, do not lose hope. Go to the NECA store right now. They put it back up for pre-order. I think it's $50 plus $15 shipping. Well worth it. Get it. It's only going to be there a couple more days. They said it's going to be there for a week. Super Shredder is also there. I was very happy as I missed him the first time. Now that I have this set checked off my list, I have everything from this film that I'm looking for, at least caught up so far. Now that we got confirmation they're making an April figure, going to be great. We're going to have all the heroes from this film. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see, Nickelodeon at the top, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We've got the two of them in here. I'm way more excited for Casey Jones. And I hate to say it, but I believe they're going to make a single unmasked or removal mask release soon. They couldn't make an agreement with the actor, they said. And all of a sudden, once this is out, they're working on agreement with the actor. Accessories loaded. Extra hands, all kind of different. Hockey sticks, baseball bats, his size, just excellent. I love his disguise, made of a cloth jacket. I can probably use that for so many different things. Got the turtles at the bottom there. One side here, got Casey. Other side here, got Raph. The top, movie logo. The bottom, there is a barcode in case that helps anybody. Go to brickseat.com, type that in, see if any stores have it. And here they are fighting in an alleyway. Oh, that scene was so fun in the movie. Can't wait to reenact that. So no further ado, let's check them out. All right, now that we have these figures out of the package, here they are with all of their accessories laid out, and they come with quite a bit of stuff. Casey Jones here, he's got a goalie hockey stick, a golf club, a regular hockey stick, a cricket bat, six additional hands, totaling eight interchangeable hands. He's got two baseball bats and a golf club bag. And then Raphael here, he's going to have the removable trench coat and backpack. He's going to have four additional hands, totaling six hands. His two size, a hat, a piece of pizza, and two alternate bandanas. But before we look at the accessories, let's check out the actual figures. Casey Jones, the one I'm most excited for because he is a brand new character from the film. He's looking very nice. That hockey mask, kind of scary on the front, the long hair. I like it. This is actually my preferred look for him, even though he only wore this in this one part of the film. A little vest, white shirt, sweatpants. Like the gloves, this guy's looking nice so far. I mean, pockets up here. The double jointed elbows, honestly, they look awful. I hate the way that looks. Single jointed knees. Got some tennis shoes down there. Very pleased to add him to the mix. And then, of course, we have Raphael as well. Not quite as excited for him. It's a very cool look. He's got his trench coat. He's got his hat. You can put it on. Looks pretty nice. Definitely reminiscent of the film in that part. Should be removable. Curious to see if it's the exact same figure underneath, which I'm guessing it is. I mean, he looks great, but I already have the Raphael. This is a nice figure, but I prefer the default look. Casey Jones, super excited for. Raphael, just semi-excited for. And then, here are the figures broken down as far as they can go, with all of their removable parts detached. So let's go ahead and look at the figures one by one. We'll check out their accessories, their height, and their articulation. And then we'll check them both out compared with some other action figures. So let's start off with Casey Jones. So let's take a look at all of Casey's accessories. And let's start off with his hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. These are his fists. Here's his second pair of hands. His left hand is semi-open, not exactly a gripping hand. 
could probably be used to hold his golf bag by the strap. And then his right hand here, kind of pointing, looks pretty good. And then his third pair of hands, these are a gripping hand with a little bit of a smaller grip, presumably for the golf club. Then his fourth pair of hands, these are also some gripping hands with a slightly larger grip, I'm assuming to hold the rest of his accessories. Now let's look at his hockey sticks. So this one here, quite a bit larger. This would be what a goalie would use. It's got a wrap on it. I'm not sure what it's supposed to say under the wrap. It's obstructed though. Then we've got a regular hockey stick. This one's got a lot of black wrap or tape all over it. Both these look pretty cool. Here he is holding his hockey stick. And here he is holding his larger hockey stick. Now let's look at his golf club. This item is quite a bit thinner. You can see the handle there, a little bit of black. It's supposed to be metal here. And the golf club at the bottom. I believe this is from near the end of the film when he took out Tatsu. And here's Casey holding the golf club. Now let's check out his cricket bat. Got black handle here. It's a flat wooden bat. It's risen in the middle there. It's got some black wrap around it. Then here he is holding the cricket bat. Now let's look at his baseball bats. Two of them. They're identical. Looks to be wooden. Has some wrap around it as well. I remember Raphael talking about him having a Jose Canseco baseball bat. Seemed to offend Casey Jones. You didn't pay good money for that, did you? Here he is holding one of the bats, and then holding two of the bats. Looks straight out the movie. Here's his golf bag. Hollow, you can put stuff inside. It's got a soft material strap you can put on the figure. A little bit soft and bendy. Here he is with the golf bag strapped to his back. You can see the strap at the front there. Looks pretty nice. And if you're curious how many of his weapons he can hold in the bag, well, sure, it doesn't look like it, but it can hold every single one of them with complete ease. Here's how he looks from the back with his bag stuffed full of weapons. And while they're not exactly both traditional accessories, when messing with the figure, I did notice his vest comes off, leaving it with just his white shirt underneath. That's pretty cool. It's made of a soft material could bend very easily and then his head pops off pretty easily and that implies to me if they do make an unmasked Casey Jones it'll be a removable head not a removable mask I believe they said they were planning on making this figure like that but they couldn't come to an agreement with the actor here he is with the vest off just in some sweatpants and a white shirt looking pretty basic now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories now let's check out his height. From bottom to top, he's sitting at about 7.2 inches tall, which is going to translate to about 18 centimeters. Then let's look at his articulation. Starting with his head here, he can rotate around from side to side. He can look up and down about that much. Shoulders are on a ball joint. They can go up more than 90 degrees, up, down, around. No bicep cut. Double jointed elbows, and they look awful if you ask me. Don't like the fact that there's a separate piece between the forearm here and the bicep area. Here is going at the top and then at the bottom. It can rotate at the top and it can rotate at the bottom as well. His wrist can rotate around and it's hinged. He has appears to be a ball joint around this area here. Can kind of rotate a little bit. His shirt is soft so it can do a little something. Seems to have another one down here. Rotate around, in and out, giving him a pretty good range of motion in his torso. Legs are ball joints, so you go about that far. Forward about that much. Back, not at all. And they can swivel a little bit against the ball. Single jointed knees, they go in a tiny bit more than 90 degrees. And they can rotate as well. Then his foot. It can kind of rotate, sort of rock a little bit, and it looks like it can go up and down. Now let's check out Raphael and all of his accessories, starting off with his hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands. 
These are his open hands, flattened out, kind of relaxed. One thing to point out, these turtles only have three fingers. You could use his hands to give each other a high five. Here he is with his second pair of hands. This has a pointing finger here. And I hate to say it, one of the first things I think about when I see these hands is this is actually like the turtles holding up their middle fingers. And then here is his final pair of hands. These are some semi-open gripping hands. These are going to be my default hands of choice for this guy. They can number one, hold his size, and they can also sort of double up his fists as needed. Now let's look at his bandanas. He's got three different versions. He's got this one where it's draped down the front of his shoulders. He's got this one where it's draped over his left side. And then he's got this one where it's draped over his right side. Here his size, no difference from the previous releases. They look pretty nice. Metal spear at the front. Nice handle with some sculpting on it. Here he is holding his size. He can also holster them onto his belt here. And how can you have an inch turtle figure without a slice of pizza? Here it is, got the crust in the back, some cheese, some toppings. Pretty basic, but pretty nice at the same time. And now he's about to take a bite. Here is his backpack. Kind of a green color, got some straps and pockets on the front, got the soft material for the straps, molded to his back, nothing really special going on here, nice backpack, I can find a ton of uses for this. Here he is wearing his backpack with the trench coat off, this is I don't believe ever actually worn like this in the film. Now let's check out his trench coat, this thing is made of cloth moves very nicely. It doesn't have any bendy wires in it. It's got a belt across it. Here's the inside. It's white. Got a bunch of buttons on the front. Pretty nice. I can use a trench coat that's probably big enough to fit a ton of my figures. Very useful accessory. Here he is without the trench coat. Then with the trench coat on and open. And here he is with the trench coat shut. You actually have to take this belt and loop it through the buckle two different times. You can tighten it. Very, very nicely done. Now let's check out his hat. It's brown and it's got some different shade brown stripes on it. Made of a soft material. It's a little bit bendy. Hollow on the inside. It's got a hole in the back for his bandana. Here he is without the hat on. And here he is with the hat on. The whole point of this disguise is to hide the fact that he's a turtle from the real world so he can go out and interact. So you want to cover up as much as possible. This looks nice with the shadow on it. Here he is wearing his backpack, hat, and trench coat all at once. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his hat, sitting at about 6.75 inches. Take the hat off, about 6.5 inches, which is going to translate to about 16 and a half centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, can rotate from side to side, can look up and down about that far, can tilt a little bit, bandana, can rotate at the back. Shoulders are a ball joint, they can go out about 90 degrees. No bicep cut here. He's got single jointed elbows, a little bit less than a 90 degree bend. They can rotate at the top. His so wrist can rotate around and it's hinged as well. Does have a ball joint under his shell here. You can see he can kind of rotate from side to side, turn a little bit. Legs on ball joints, they can go out about that far. Can rotate independently, swivel with the ball a little bit. Double jointed knees, but they can only go back about that far. So foot here can go up and down. Can rotate as well. Tilt rock at the same time. Now let's check out if there's any differences from the previous release. This is the disguise version, and here's the original release. Looks like their mouth a little bit different. I can see more teeth on the original version. And the eyes don't look much different. 
I'd say as we go lower, everything is identical. But the mouth is definitely a bit different. He seems angrier, almost grrr, growling. He doesn't. Here's Casey Jones and Raphael fighting each other in the park. And then shortly after, here's Casey Jones and Raphael putting aside their differences, taking out this pack of foot soldiers. And here are all four of the turtles fighting the foot with Casey Jones. You can see Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo down there. And then Raphael and Casey Jones up top. And now, let's check these guys out compared with some of their action figures. Starting off with some of their Ninja Turtle figures. Here they are with the movie Ninja Turtle set as well as Splinter. These are all the heroes from the film they've made so far, and now they've confirmed April. Going to have a complete set. And here they are, next to all the different movie villains that I have. We've got a Shredder and eight Foot Soldiers. Now I'm not going to consider my villain collection complete until they give us Tetsu. Here they are with another set of Ninja Turtles. These are from DC Collectibles from the animated film Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's Casey Jones next to a Mattel Young Justice Sportsmaster figure. Sportsmaster is a DC Justice League villain. Here are a bunch of other sports equipment I use to enhance a Sportsmaster figure. And I can see Casey Jones' golf bag really being fun with Sportsmaster as well. And then besides Sportsmaster, here's several other figures in my collection wearing hockey masks. Here's Raphael with his cloth trench coat, next to a couple of other cloth trench coats that I have. We've got a Mezco 112th cloth soft goods collection, Commissioner Gordon. And I did try that trench coat on the original Raphael, but it did not fit. And then this other cloth trench over here, I believe, came with a Jack specific wrestling figure. Now let's check them out, compared with some other action figures from different various companies so we can see how they fit in both scale and style wise in case you want to know which lines you can mix them with. Here they are with some of their NECA brothers. And here they are next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then next to some McFarlane toys. And here with some Mattel wrestling figures. Then next to some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. And here they are, next to some Mattel, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse figures. Then, with some Mafex figures. Now, with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here they are, with some SH Figure Arts action figures. So overall, this is a very nice action figure set. Their sculpt is on point, their paint job is fantastic, their accessories are great. Only complaint about Casey Jones would be his double jointed elbows. I really don't like the way they look. Everything else about these guys is fantastic. If I were to rate these figures, probably give Raphael a 7 out of 10. A little bit less excited for him since I prefer the Raphael and his default look. And I already had a Raphael figure. The main draw of this two pack was Casey Jones, a new character from the film. If I were to rate that guy, I'd probably give him an 8 out of 10. He's great. And we know NECA's going to end up giving us another version of him, perhaps an ultimate with a removal mask or a swappable head. But I'm very happy to have this guy for now. My journey toward a complete 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection is getting closer and closer. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.